Hi everyone, <coughs> this is size 12, uh, sorry size 10, barbless hook, grub hook and uh, I'm going to add some lead on it, so we cut some that's enough actually this is a heavy hook so you don't have to put the wool and also this is a, the part is a bit almost become heavy after it's finished so it's entirely up to you you can put the wool but um, I think it's better just to have a single <coughs> layer of the lead the th thread I'm using is light olive 6 or and just start well below the and just cover all this lead and make sure it's all covered now I'm going to be using the body with the one millimeter clear stretch elastic you saw me with my other video using this material so if you melt one side to create a catching point like this and just take a bit off and I'm going to catch this one this is a little bit tricky but it's simple actually you know and um, just like I said usually say take your time with these things all the way down and then just put this in the side actually a little spring here um, <coughs> another material I'm going to be adding is uh, olive ostrich oil so just a single strand just catch it in here and make sure you use a little bit wax on your thread and then just come back towards towards the eye by make sure you know you level the body as well Open your thread all the way, and I'm also covering this lead as well. And then, what I'm going to do here is just a half inch and leave it there. Okay, now I have to bring my stretch first. So I'm just going to add a little bit color onto this stretch. You don't have to do that. You can do it after. And just a little help. This is an olive marker, permanent marker. Um, just uh, give it a slightly loose turn. And then if you leave a little bit gap in the middle, as you can see. In fact, I forgot something I will do that now before I go any further you need a flat face you know plier to just flatten this up a little bit so our stretch gets sit on it properly and makes a nice body so just a slight now if you could bring this It's a simple, easy way to tie Garmus, uh, Gamarus. Um, I'm leaving a little bit gap in the middle in each turn. 
now here I'm gonna leave a stretch a little bit hard so we can have a nice shape now take your time secure this gently that's fine just cut this piece off I'm just gonna alter the hook so I can secure this properly and that's fine now I'm gonna give another half hitch in case it opens up that's fine <clears throat> now all you have to do is bring your ostrich through the each segment make sure you take your time and don't put too much tension on it if you snap this then you have to start again now as you can see keep bringing it and that's fine again secure this with your thread cut this piece off now here I'm gonna just finish off the fly and do the rest of the work after so we finish cut this off now it's all done now as you can see and now all you have to do push push these fibers down either way you wet your fingers so they'll go nice and you'll find it easier If you find any of the fibers on top, so just take this off with your scissor. As you can see, it's nicely done. Now, what I'll do is add some more olive on the top. That's fine and just a bit of red that's fine and the next thing you do is use your UV resins to create a nice shell body now take your time with this if you think it's running down just move your vice upside down actually I did put a little bit too much on it so I'll take that off like I said you know take your time with this all you need a little practice so Now I'm going to cure this quickly. So as you can see, I've just worked with the body and then curing this. So there we have 
a simple olive cameras river pattern. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.